Today, we're diving into your brand new Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra or Plus to show you not one, not two, but seven different ways to take screenshots, including the full page scrolling capture. And the first and the most basic way a lot of people knows, just press and release the volume down and the power button together to take a screenshot. Now the next way that you can take screenshot is from your quick access panel. So swipe down and expand it. If you don't find the screenshot option in here, just tap on this edit button to edit and then drag the screenshot option to wherever you like. Press done and then done again. And then whenever you need to take a screenshot, swipe down and tap on the screenshot icon. Another cool way is by the palm swipe. Just go ahead, swipe your palm on screen from either right to left or vice versa. Your screenshot will be taken. If it's not working, just go ahead, open up settings from their advanced features to motions and gestures, and then just make sure palm swipe to capture option is turned on. Another way to take a screenshot by the edge panel. For that, you'll need to set it up first. Once again, from settings to display, Scroll down for Edge Panels, turn it on, go to Panels, and uh, here select Tasks. Now I'm going to just unselect App so that it doesn't look confusing. Press on Edit. Now, as you can see, Take a Screenshot option is already added. If it's not showing up, just drag and drop the option like this. That's all. And then you'll see a notch at the edge of your screen. Just Whenever you want to take a screenshot, swipe left and tap on take a screenshot option. Now the next way we're going to show you to take a screenshot by your voice assistant. Could be Google, Gemini, Bixby, whatever is enabled on your device. Just say, hey assistant, take a screenshot. Now what about S Pen? You can take screenshots with your S Pen as well. Now go ahead, take out your pen. Tap on this S Pen options. Now you can take screenshot with AI Select and also Screen Write. If you tap on AI Select, you can draw around and select any specific object or part, move the selection, expand or shrink it, and you can write on it as well. And when you're done, just tap on this Save button to save the screenshot. Now as I've told you, another way to take screenshot with your S Pen is by Screen Write. When you tap on it, it'll select a rectangular frame. You can also change the shape and also can draw and write on the screen. Now to take a screenshot of a full page, open up the website or the page that you want to take the screenshot. Go ahead, scroll down till the end of the page so it can load up. After that, go to the top, take a screenshot with any one of the ways we have already shown you. And in this preview section, keep tapping on this arrow as it go scrolling down. By this way, you can take the screenshot of a full page or when you think you're done, you can tap anywhere to stop the screenshot. Now all your normal and full page screenshot will be stored in the gallery section from where you can access, edit or share any screenshot as well. And these are all the ways you can take screenshot on your Galaxy S25. Thanks for watching.